They're here and they're not going away anytime soon. And no, we're not talking about a pesky in-law or Ooh. those spam messages. Ooh, nope, but we are talking <laughs> about a group of chemicals known as PFAs that affect yeah. our everyday lives. Investigative reporter Chris Horn shows us where these forever chemicals show up. Chris? Aisha, chances are good that you've come into contact with PFAS chemicals today and really good that you have some in your system right now. But the EPA has linked PFAS to cancer and other health problems. They don't break down, ever. That's what makes them so effective and so troubling. PFAS chemicals are typically hard to see unless you are on Birdneck Road in Virginia Beach on Good Friday 2012. A Navy jet had crashed into an apartment complex, and the foam that firefighters used to quench the raging jet fuel contained PFAS. ODU professor of environmental and civil engineering Gary Schaffern explains why the foam is so effective. The foam covers the fuel and just deprives it of the oxygen. The problem is the PFAS in the foam doesn't go away. It's known as a forever chemical. PFAS stands for words that are hard to spell and even harder to say. NAS Oceana is among three places in Hampton Roads, along with Fentress Airfield. Engines are at 100%. And the area near NASA's Wallops Island complex that are under assessment for PFAS from the firefighting foam. But PFAS is not limited to runways and launch pads. PFAS chemicals come to us in all kinds of directions. Pizza boxes, shampoos and cosmetics, the wrappings for fast food, that scotch guard stuff we use to waterproof our clothing, and how about nonstick cookware? Turns out corporate America has delivered PFAS to us in ways we didn't even know. Now let's shift from convenience to concern. There are three areas that I'm familiar with uh, that have uh, public health issues. Uh, one is uh, liver cancer, it's uh, associated with that. Uh, also uh, negative impacts on thyroid, uh, your thyroid, and also autoimmune diseases. The American Cancer Society does not determine whether anything definitely causes cancer, but does say drinking water is one of the main sources of PFAS exposure for some people. So this is probably the highest amount of PFAS chemicals. Eva Doty is an ODU researcher in a lab in Newport News. She tests samples from wastewater treatment plants to see how much PFAS is present. She's testing for a specific chemical known as PFOA. So we're going to see that show up for PFOA. It's around 11 minutes. And we're going to see a peak, and that's in indicative of the concentration of PFOA. The EPA has linked PFAS chemicals to decreased fertility or increased high blood pressure in pregnant women, developmental effects or delays in children, reduced ability of the body's immune system, and increased cholesterol levels and or the risk of obesity. So far, researchers have found no cause for alarm for the time being, mainly because... PFAS chemicals have been detected in bloodstream of people all around the world. You know, it's, it's ubiquitous. But scientists and health agencies will continue their level of concern because PFAS chemicals are here to stay. And the Navy says it has a whole protocol for handling and disposing of PFAS chemicals, especially when it comes to the firefighting foam. For the past five years, in fact, DOD firefighters must be tested annually for PFAS levels. We've got much more right now at wavy.com. Chris Horn, 10 in your side.